In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create a nice pathway behind a donut ring. If I refresh here, you can see here, it will show the slides, but it will have a nice background here. So let's start to look how we can do this in Chart.js 4. So to do this, the first thing what we need here is our border template, which you can find here on, let's remove that, chartjs3.com, getting started. Once you're on here, copy this chunk of code and you're good to go. Next, if you want the source code of this video and many others, check out my Patreon page. And of course, got a question, put it on Discord. So what we're going to do now is create the donut chart. We'll make a donut, save, remove this scale here, save, refresh. So now we have this here. What I would like to do, because there was the example, is that we have multiple, so let's put in another data set. And then another one as well. Make sure we have a comma here. And then I'll just make this the very last color here. That's the black. So we can say your black. And we'll make another one here. We'll just get one of those. And this is the blue. Finally, the red. Let's save that. Refresh. There we are. So what I want to do now is I want to create, or make them a bit more narrow. And for that, we're just going to do here. And so I'm going to say here, um, cut out. I'm going to say here, this will be a 70%. Save that, refresh. All right, now let's add some space between each other by adding a border. So the border, well, let's give it the border color white instead. Save that, refresh. Nothing happens yet because this here will not work if you have it specified in here, the border colors here. So let's remove those border colors, including the border width. So we're going to remove them and then it will not overrule because if it's specific for the data set, it will overrule the general options. So let's save that, refresh, there we are. All right, so that looks quite decent here. What I would like to have now is have a path at the very back of it. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to create here a comma, we say here plugins and create here a donut pathway or path, copy that, constant equals that ID of the donut path. And then we're going to say here before we draw the data sets, uh, before the data sets draw, I'm going to say chart, arcs, and plugin options. Once we have that, constant, the, the object destruction of chart object that we have here. And I guess you can say here CTX, and maybe we're going to get the data, maybe we're going to get the options. I think we will have the border color or the border size of it. So let's say your border width, that will be three pixels. Save that, refresh. All right, and that looks quite nice. Maybe the hover effect, let's remove that one as well. <coughs> so we say here, hover border color. So we have here the hover border color, and we'll make sure that this hover border color will be white as well. So it will not respond, or at least doesn't change the color. There you are. But of course, what we want to have is at the very back something as well so let's start to make that pathway uh, oh sorry we had that here there we are and then i'm going to say here after we have this uh what we'll be needing is well let's see we want to get of course the center here so basically what we're going to do is we're going to draw a complete shape from this point to here make it all a full circle then we put another white circle in the center here, covering from this point onwards. So that's the trick that we're going to use. And after that, we're going to draw border lines on top of it. So don't get confused. First, what we need is the center point here. These we can find quite quickly. We say x equals chart get dot get data set meta index zero dot data. And then we say here, uh zero and an x and all of them are identical so i can also do this for the y value and if you could do any data set as well because they're all in the same they use the same foundation in the center so once we did that 
The next thing what I want to do here is because we're going to create a circle, say constant angle equals math.pi divided by 180 degrees because uh, the reason for that is 1 pi is a half circle, 2 pi is a full circle, so 1 pi is 180 degrees. Once we have this, what we need next is start to draw the circle. So I say here ctx.save. And once we did that, we're going to say ctx.translate. And translate is basically creating the new zero point. In this case, the zero point will be the x and y corner that we have here. Because from this point, you can start to draw circles. So we're going to say the x and y will be the new zero point that we assign. Once we have that, we can now start to draw the shape. So I'm going to say ctx.begin path to create a new shape independent of anything else. So then what I'm going to say here is ctx. Dot, and then I guess we can just give it a color, fill style, and let's give it a gray color. Once we did that, we're going to say ctx. Dot, um, arc, I guess we can start to draw the shape. And what we need is basically the following. We need the x coordinate, the y coordinate, and then we have to make sure that these are small. x, y, we need the radius. We'll be needing the starting angle, so start A, ending angle, and finally counterclockwise, yes or no. We'll say this is false. We don't use this. Most of the time, we don't use this. So what I want to do now is then, well, angle for start, we just put in zero. And this will be 360 multiplied by angle. So we have that one. And then for the radius, we still need to assign this, but let's give it a 50 pixel radius. For x and y, I don't need this coordinates because the translate reset the coordinates to zero or change them to zero. So what I'm going to say here, the center is zero, zero. Once we did this, I'm going to say ctx.restore. This is very important. If you don't do that, you get a very weird animation so make sure you have the restore save and restore between and it translate between there so let's save that refresh uh all right interesting what is our color here the fill path arc so what is going on here i need to say your ctx up fill to draw the shape save refresh there we are so now we have this what i want to do is i want to go and hit the very top here so what I'm going to do here is just going to grab one of this and we can just say here constant and I will say here this is the outer radius and the outer radius will give us the outer radius here. These are all built in from ChartJS. They have all this data in here. So what I'm going to do now is just put that in there and then it should touch exactly this one. There you are. However, while doing that, the border color here is white instead of transparent. So if we do it transparent, probably you will see it more nicely. Transparent. And we're going to do that one as well here. Say refresh. All right. Look at that. That looks phenomenal. So that works. But we're not done, of course. So what I want to do now is just make this white again. Be sure. And there we are. So what I want next is making sure we end it at this very point here. So what I'm going to do here, and this is for the data set index zero. What if you have, for one of my other examples, we use a fake circle or one of these data sets as a sample to, to create a circle. In that case, you do you start with data set one or whatever that would be applicable so that's very important so then what i'm going to do is for the inner radius all i need is the last one so what i need here is basically the last value here but i want to make sure that it's uh, soft coded so i'm going to soft code this one by saying constant and then we say data set length and the data set length equals the um this or i guess no let's say here data sets we need to say data sorry from this one here dot data sets and then we say here dot length minus one all right so once we did that we get the length of it and we put the length in here so then we should get uh well we should get this part here we can test that if i do this save refresh 
There we are. So it touches that one here. So what I'm going to do here is basically the following. I'm just going to draw a new shape. Still before the restore because I need, still need to translate or the new zero point that I just, uh, created. I still need that. So that's why we're doing that. Then I'll make this white. And I say here the inner radius and this is the outer radius. Save that. Refresh. So as you can see, now we're having something here nicely. But of course, I'm not fully satisfied because right now we have our border here. And this here is really more... Um, you will notice the real difference once you say here, uh, circumference. That was really the reason why the question was asked. And then this would be 90. We save that. There we are. You can see here we have one that only cuts into the 90 and it's halfway or a quarter of the item. Even if I would remove all of this, there was a whole situation. Can we create our item here? All right. So what we're going to do now is I want to make sure that this here will nicely be round. And to do that, what I'm going to do here is, well, let's see, we have this. I want to make sure we have these white lines here. So if I have a transparent, let's make this first transparent. Save. So we have these invisible borders here. I want to make a line here between. So we have these nice lines. So how do we do this? Well, basically, I'm just going to create a border or a pixel line here. For that, I'm just going to stay within here and then I'm going to say here for and I'm going to use a, a for loop let i equals and then we say here's zero and then we're going to say here for every iteration will be lower or equal and the reason why equal is because we have a negative one here lower or equal to the length of data set data set length then we say i plus plus. So once we did this, I can create now a new circle. And this circle is basically the borders that we created, but we're going to put it on the pathway instead of our item here. So, or we can do it both, doesn't matter. But let's start to do that first there. So we're going to say in here, um, we're going to say here, uh, ctx begin path. We're going to create a new item here. Then, I want to say here ctx at line width and that will say three pixels or whatever our border width is here so remember we had the options here prepared so we could say options dot border width so make sure of course if you do this that the border width is in the options if it's not in there you can get it from one of the data sets but if every data set would have an individual different number then i won't recommend that so once we did this, what we want to do next then is create uh, the color. So it's a CTX that stroke style because we're going to make a line only and that will be white. And once we did that, we're going to say here now arc CTX that arc and draw the arc and the arc will be zero zero. And then the radius it can be basically the inner radius for every data set. So I say here constant inner radius uh, d or something like for data set and then what i want to do here will be chart dot get data set meta then we get the i that we have here let me say here dot data index zero dot inner radius once we did this we can just grab this it will be the radius for the data set and then what we can do here is the following is say zero and an angle multiplied by 360. And then finally again, font. Just the same logic as above. We just make a full circle. Once we did that, I'm going to say CTX at stroke to confirm the drawing of the line. Let's save that. Refresh. There we are. Now we have a pathway here. You can see here that one has as well. And let's put this transparent back to white. Save. Refresh. There we are. You could say here even a border radius, border radius, and no, not like that, like this, border radius, maybe 10 pixels. Save, refresh, 
now we have that and of course now you get these kind of weird effects but if you only have one let's set that up i guess we can just set that up that was a sample question put it in here and then maybe here and then finally what i want to do is just have a fake data because if i do this only save we get this kind of weird design we don't want that so what i'm going to do here just do this delete some of these values and then maybe a 30 or whatever all right so now convert this into a full circle and that was the whole trick here you can grab this put it in there comma and then we say here uh dummy and then this is has no value for us we don't want this the circumference here we will remove this so it will be a full circle like that all right so that looks already nice you can see here it will work nicely as well even with the hoover that looks quite nice to be honest however you could change that instead of transparent just make that white as well white finally uh hide the very top here border with zero cut out percentage 100 percent and then save refresh all right so as you can see here we have a problem but no if we just look here remember we're getting the data here and then this outer radius as i said earlier then should be just specifically geared to this now we have it and that's it to be honest that looks quite nice and that's how you create your pathway for the donut chart